Want to create really fun drop shadow effects in your heat transfer vinyl designs? Well, stick around. I'm going to show you how you can use a free online artwork software known as CADWorks Live to create really cool looks like this. Starting in CADWorks Live, we're going to go to the upper left-hand corner and select Add Text. And the text that we're going to be doing to pair with this new cheetah pattern is Born to be Wild. Right, so I'm going to start by typing in my first line of text. We're going to be doing three different lines for this. And I'm going to be using an imported font. for So for those of you on... Um, that have your own fonts that you would like to use that we don't offer within the free fonts that are available to you within the platform. You do have the ability to upload your own font in the bottom right hand corner of this window. Once you go to add your text, you'll just select that and it will allow you to import a TTF or zip file of that font type. Right, and the one that I am using is the Valentine Vibes. So I'm gonna double click that. Right, I'm gonna zoom in here. Then I'm going to duplicate that. And do my second line of text, which is 2B. Just that where I want that to fall for the second line. And then repeat that same step for the third line, which is wild. So whenever I import my wild text, I don't exactly like how it falls. So what I'm going to do is go to shaping and break apart by regions. And I'm just adjusting these three letters here and dropping those slightly and then adjusting my W to where I want that to fall as well. All right. Once I am happy, I can go ahead and just group all of these together make some final adjustments that I want. Okay. And I'm just going to group all these together by going to shaping and weld. The reason I'm doing weld as opposed to condense is because whenever I go to wireframe, you can see that uh, the script font here is not grouped together. So I want to avoid having these cut lines going from one text or one letter into the next. So if I weld this, I'm going to do this in the wireframe view so that you guys can see how this groups these together and welds it so that we don't have to worry about any of those cut lines. Okay, so everything's welded together. And now we're going to start creating that drop shadow bubbly effect, okay? So what I'm going to do is double click my group here and select add effect. And instead of going straight to the drop shadow, the first thing that I do to create a really dramatic drop shadow and bubble text effect is I use the large contour first. I'm gonna show you why here in a second. So I'm gonna add the large contour. You can see that it creates a, a big contour and I adjust this based on how bubbly I want the drop shadow to be and also how much space I want to be uh, to allow some garment show through and breathability. Because again, we are working with heat transfer vinyl, so we wanna be sure that we're not creating anything too heavy um, as this stuff is going to be layered. So um, I just adjust that. I am going to fill in these little gaps here so I don't have to worry about weeding those. And as long as I like what I'm seeing here, I'm gonna select okay. And that's going to generate on my screen for me. I'm gonna zoom in one more time so we can get a closer look at this. The next thing I'm gonna do is go to shaping, break apart by colors. What I'm doing is ungrouping the original text 
from that large contour that we added. And to create that drop shadow effect, all I'm doing is just bringing this up because I want the drop shadow to be left and down, if that makes sense. All right, so that's what we have created here by just shifting that upward and over. And to make the drop shadow even more dramatic, I'm going to add an additional color here. Now, the drop shadow really comes into play and you can really notice the effect whenever you start working with color schemes that really pair well together, which I'm gonna show you here shortly as well. All right, so next step is to add that additional drop shadow. And drop shadows are extremely popular, so add as many colors as you want. Um, if you're using heat transfer vinyl, we always recommend to not do too many colors because that's more work at the heat press or more work at the vinyl cutter. Uh, so just keep that in mind as you're adding more colors. Um, that's more work that you have to do as far as cutting, weeding, and heat applying goes. So I'm just going to add one more additional color. And for the color scheme I'm going with is our cream and our brown ultra weed. And we're pairing it with that cheetah pattern. So I want my last drop shadow layer to be brown. So I'm going to find the brown one here. I'm going to go with this one. I think this matches closely. And you can kind of see where that drop shadow is lying. Now you can adjust this. I like my horizontal offset at 0.12, but I do want to increase my vertical ops offset to about 0.20. Right, just a further drop, just to make that drop shadow a little bit more dramatic. Now I'm going to change my original contour color to our cream. And now we are getting more of that drop shadow effect. And I really like doing this process because it creates that really popular retro bubbly letter effect um, and then just adds more effect or more drama to the drop shadow to do an additional step with that. Now there's a couple popular ways um, that you can do this drop shadow you can actually punch this through the top layer. So if you want to just to do two colors, you can just punch this through and do um, back minus front and punch the top text through the back. And that's re one really popular way to do it because it still keeps that drop shadow effect, adds more garment show through, more breathability with the apparel that this is being applied to. And then it gives you the option to just work with two colors instead of three. Now, since we are working with the pattern, I'm going to keep this as is, and I'm actually going to fill my texture here with that pattern so that we can see what that effect is. Okay. Right. So that is how you can create bubble text drop shadow effects within CAD Works Live in just a few steps. Now let's heat apply. I already have my garment loaded and preheated. I'm working with a Bella Canvas sponge fleece cropped hoodie. And to start, I have my design templated and place down. The reason I'm templating is because I want to work from my background color to my foreground color. So I want to make sure that I'm happy with where everything is laying before I apply that background color so that when I go to lay in my next two products, I don't have to worry about any alignment issue. So now that I have all of that lined up exactly where I want it to be, I'm going to go ahead 
and remove my other two products and apply my first layer. I'm gonna cover with a cover sheet and apply for just a few seconds. This is a tacking method that's going to heat up the adhesive of the heat transfer vinyl long enough so that it starts to cure to that t-shirt, but not too long that it actually starts to shrink underneath that high heat. Ultra Weed is a hot peel, so I can go ahead and remove that carrier. I'm just gonna repeat those same steps with my next color. And for our last application, we're going to apply for the full recommended time, temperature, and pressure. This is going to cure all three of the heat transfer vinyls to our garment. Tag Cut Patterns is also a hot peel in addition to the CAD Cut Ultra Weed and the other two colors that we heat applied. So once we peel that carrier, our mixed media using patterns and CAD Cut Ultra Weed, three color mixed media design is complete. CADWORKS Live makes it so simple to be able to take basic text designs to the next level for your graphic tees and hoodies. For more information on the products used in this video, visit the links in the description.